guys? Do you guys know what dry ice is made of? Do you guys know what dry ice is made of? Carbon dioxide! Carbon dioxide! Good job! So it's made of it's solid carbon dioxide. And what we yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have some magnesium. And this magnesium metal, if you guys can see, is a sil it's kind of silver, shiny colored metal. It's also a very reactive metal. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I put it in my dry ice. I'm going to set it on fire. Yes. Yeah. And then we're going to cover the fire with the dry ice. So if I cover the fire, do you think my fire should go out? No. Yes. No. Yes. All right. Do you guys know what's used in some fire extinguishers? Carbon dioxide. So I should put my fire out, right? Wow. And then can you move back a little bit and maybe stand up? And if I can get the lights out, please. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Cover the fire. Now, does it look like it's putting my fire out? No. No, it's not putting my fire out. Is it magnesium that they use in fireworks? Yes, they do. It makes a kind of bright white yellow color for the fireworks. Um, honestly, it's all anything. It's just CO2 here. Um, so what happens is that magnesium is really, really reactive. And I covered it, but it uses the oxygen and the carbon dioxide to make the fire keep going. And that's just because it's a, yeah, it's finally out. It's just because it's a really reactive metal. So if I can get the lights on, I just want to show it to them. So remember that I showed you guys, yes, you can Remember that I showed you guys uh, the metal, right? And then Dr. Attili's going to walk this around, and I want you guys to look and see what happened to my metal. What do you guys see? Does it still look silver and shiny? White stuff and black yes. stuff. No one silver stuff. Got it? So the look, fire look. burned yes. until all the magnesium was wow. burned. So we only put a little bit like, of magnesium no. in there. It burned until all the magnesium was burned up. Do this. The magnesium <laughs> turned into magnesium oxide when it reacted with the oxygen, and that's the white that you see. And it made some just black carbon, and that's the black that you see. So it completely converted everything into different things. That's what we call a redox reaction or a re single replacement reaction. But this is what it would look like. So one day when you guys get to your chemistry class, you can write these reactions. But the important thing to learn there is that just because you use CO2 in fire doesn't in a fire extinguisher doesn't mean you can use it for all fires. So the chemistry lab is always equipped with uh, different kinds of fire extinguishers so we can deal with all the different kinds of chemicals that we use. <laughs>